Hey guys, Dr. Oliver here again, Move Well Chiropractor. What we're going to do today is we're going to go over a stretch that's just a, a, overall just a general great stretch for the spine uh, to keep it mobile and keep it moving. Uh, this is a stretch that we use, I, I teach my patients a lot to do even when they're acutely flared up because what we want to do is we want to get as much motion as possible into the spine. The lack of motion and you know a lot of bed rest for something like this actually can make things worse. So. If, if you've been recommended to have more mobility and get more motion into the spine, do this. If for any reason when doing these exercises you have any excessive pain, increased pain, then do not do them at all uh, and consult with your doctor. But the first one we're going to do is just going to be a general spine mobility exercise. So what you're going to do is you're going to gently get yourself down to the floor as comfortably as you can on your knees. And we're actually going to lean forward. So we're going to start out on our knees and on our hands. Right, in all, all fours essentially. And what you want to do is have your knees centered on your hips, hands on your shoulders. You're going to keep your arms straight through the entire exercise. A lot of people tend to bend the arms there because you want to keep them locked out and straight. The majority of the motion is going to come and is going to originate. It's going to start right here in the hips. So what you want to do is you want to bend forward and back. Essentially, most of this motion is coming from my pelvis and my hips here. And you can see the spine raising up and flattening down. At the same time, we're getting the neck involved with the two. So as we come up with the spine, this is referred to as the cat portion because you're arching up like a cat. And then you reverse it backwards. And what you want to do is you want to push to where you feel comfortable. You're probably not going to be able to get as much motion as I was just getting there with it. And initially, you want to just get a little bit of motion into the spine and be comfortable with it. A good reference point or a good thing to think about while you're doing is think of your pelvis as a bucket of water. All right? So as you're going, you're trying to dump the bucket out and then you fill it back up. So watch my pelvis here. So what we're going to do is we're going to dump it out and then we're going to fill it up. So most of the motion, again, is coming from here. We're not pushing up and down and we're not going forward and back. It's simply tilt, you can tilt. You should feel a general good stretch up through your mid-back. It really, again, should not aggravate anything. If it does, don't do the exercise and consult with